Recently, a biotech company sought to test its genetically engineered insects in Florida in an effort to fight mosquito-borne diseases. UC San Diego researcher Cinnamon Bloss wanted to know what members of the American public thought of this plan. So for a new study out this week, she analyzed comments from people with strong enough opinions to write into the FDA regarding the proposed test. These are people motivated to get online and respond to you know, a, a federal document. And so perhaps unsurprisingly, we found about three quarters of them were generally opposed to doing this. Bloss notes that these may have only been the loudest voices in the room, but she says it's important for scientists to engage with the concerns of community members before hatching plans to test genetically modified bugs in their backyards. I actually think it's really important to start doing some of this work in, in a state like California where, you know, it, we haven't seen the outbreak yet, but it's certainly possible that something like that could happen in the future. UC San Diego biologist Ethan Beer has received federal funding to explore the possibility of using genetic tools to fight mosquito-borne diseases in California. He and his colleagues have already shown that it's possible to spread malaria-resistance genes through mosquito populations using a genetic chain reaction called gene drive. Beer said Bloss's new study is a very important analysis of what went wrong in Florida, and he hopes the lessons learned will inform future attempts to engage the public. David Wagner, KPBS News.